Hey friends, welcome to Tuesday. It's another graphing day. So excited about this one because today we're gonna to be graphing our favorite biomes. This is gonna be awesome. Is it gonna be the grassland for you? How about the polar biome? What about the desert? Aquatic biome? Or are you a forest guy or gal? For me, it's less about which one I'd most want to live in because some of these would be pretty tricky to live in. Some would even be pretty tricky to visit. But the question I want you to think about is, which one of the biomes that we've learned about really captured your imagination the most? Which one, frankly, was just the coolest to you? All right? And do you think you could find 10 people again? I know you can but you can ask them the same type of question if they're like, wait, which one do I wanna live in? Well, I don't know. You could help them understand um, that we're more interested in which one do you just find the most interesting, right? The other thing you've gotta remember, if you're asking other people, you might need to remind them what a biome is. Don't forget, a biome is a community. A biome is a community of plants and animals. And that community shares the same habitat in nature, okay? A biome is a community of plants and animals that share the same natural habitat. Pretty cool, right? You know a cool word like biome. You also know an amazing amount about all these biomes. When you're graphing it though, you might notice this graph looks a little different than our graph last week. What's different about it? Can you tell? There are no lines. There are no squares. So last week, we did a very, very typical bar graph. You could actually see the bar forming because you would color in a square for each vote that you were recording. This bar graph is gonna look a little different. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Here's an example. This is a bar graph that does not look right. Remember, the reason we graph things is so that the picture can show us the numbers. So if I'm looking at which biome won on this graph, I think Wesley did this. Which one won? It looks like forest is the highest. But wait a second, forest only has three dots. Huh, what about maybe grasslands? One, two, three, four, five. That has five, so it's more than this, but it's all the way up to the seven mark. What's going on with aquatic? There's three, but the three's up here. And look, what's this guy doing way over here? And then desert. Oh, well, I can tell there's just one, but it's not across from the one. Polar, kind of like aquatic, all over the place. Guys, when you do this kind of bar graph, you have to work a little bit harder. It says to carefully make circles or other symbols to record each vote. You can use any symbol you want. Maybe you want to make tiny cactuses for the desert votes or tiny fish for the aquatic votes. But whatever symbol you use, you need to make sure that your dots line up with the right number and bio. So, this is how not to do it. When you use your um, graph at home, if you have a vote for polar, say, you want to use your finger to go up from polar and draw your symbol, a dot or something else, across from the number one, okay? If you get another vote for polar, you don't wanna jam it right on top of that first symbol or dot, you wanna make it way up by the number two. That way, all the dots or symbols that you use will be the same and will give us the right picture of the numbers. This is great practice, guys. You're thinking, well, why didn't you just make us the squares again? This is good practice, okay? I wanna see if you can do it. 
Actually, I know you can do it. So take your time, think of maybe a fun symbol for each biome, and then be careful putting it in the right spot. So you might be wondering, which one is my favorite biome? Well, to find out, I've recorded a, a separate video. It's down in like the optional stuff. You don't have to watch it, but if you wanna see what my favorite biome is, you can even add my vote to your graph. And I picked a very special story, which I think will show you what my favorite biome is. When you decide what your favorite biome is, maybe you can also think of a book or story that you love that's about that biome. I'd love for you to share that with me. Tell me what story or book really means a lot to you when you think about that biome. So if you want, you can also watch the other short video that I'm giving you today that will show you what my favorite biome is. But have a great time graphing. Tomorrow, we'll all get together again and fill out this big guy to see which biome wins from all the votes we got. All right, guys, hearts. Have a happy, happy Tuesday.